hi guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna introduce you to a really cool website in which you can actually examine patients and diagnose their condition in a virtual eye clinic all right so let's go there uh, in the Google search menu type American Academy of Optometry British chapter so as soon as you type that you'll get these links so click that the first link and it'll, it'll take you to the uh, website so there are heaps of resources for optometry students and optometrists in this website but we're interested in the eye clinic so I'm gonna click the eye clinic okay click as soon as you click that you click OK hello doctor you have 12 patients waiting so we've got information that we have got 12 patients from the reception so right so this is the virtual eye clinic and there are like um, different consultation rooms one two three four up to 12 so it's gonna be a lot of fun diagnosing the patients all right so I'm gonna show you how to how to access the patients and how to examine them and I hope you'll have fun uh, exploring this virtual eye clinic okay let's go to the patient consultation room one and see okay we've got this young old fella over here as our patient he is 78 years and his name is his first initials are JS okay so in this in this area you're gonna see the um, patient particulars and patient data so this is the chief complaint um, if you want to know the history click here those the, it'll give you the history if you know the hit general health click here it'll give you the general health and if you want to know the um, prescription now for the prescription you have to go over here and drag that uh, for up to click and drag that for up to okay click the foropter and drag that foropter to the patient's eye okay and then as soon as you do that to release the mouse button then it'll go it'll give you the prescription as well as the final uh, best corrected visual acuity okay now click and drag it to the other side okay um, now we've got the uh, prescription now we, we want to see the oculomotor balance and stuff to do the oculomotor balance click the patient's face and it will go to a different base where you'll have different options so you've got the cover paddle so click click the cover paddle and do the uh, cover test okay and uh, see if he has got any four year or something you don't have to kind of note anything because it will automatically give you the results in the uh, previous page okay so for the um, convergence or ocular modality do this um, target and for the pupillary reaction do this thing okay just you have to click and drag it to the patient okay that's done now you see that there is a no strabismus small four year present and pupils are normal okay now we are we're gonna do the IOPs so in order to do the IOPs we have got the Goldman telemetry so we need to put some eye drops in the in the patient so there is a drug cabinet click there and then you have got three options there's the pilocarpine that's the tropicamide and that's the benoxinate that's the one that's the anesthetic so we're gonna instill that anesthetic to the patient and still and uh, so it says inst installed once you install that installed okay now go there it's done now we're gonna do the slit lamp and tonometry okay okay slit lamp and tonometry now do his right eye slit lamp so there is narrow angle very narrow angle okay now in order to measure the his IOPs click that tonometry button over there click okay I've got 27 millimeters of edge now drag that slit lamp to the other eye okay so you've got the um, slit lamp image of the other eye and click I've got the uh, IOPs as well okay so probably we have we have reached to a provisional diagnosis of the patient but high IOPs and shallow angles so that means that he has some sort, some sort of closed angle glaucoma or angle closer glaucoma right um, you can confirm you can do the ophthalmoscope and things but this is the earliest time that we could manage but if you do ophthalmoscope it will take five minutes and it'll, it will increase the time so your job is to come to a final kind of provisional diagnosis as early as possible in a reasonable amount of time okay so we came to a provisional diagnosis in 31 minutes so if you want to confirm his visual field or a phonoscope and things you can do it from here so click and drag okay there so you got the left eye fan fundus image click and drag it there right eye fundus image okay and drag it and keep it over here um, now if you want to confirm his visual field drag that visual field machine over there and then do it okay we've got some visual field deficits in his lower quadrant so i don't know if it's specific to glaucoma but it is something which confirms our diagnosis okay so now once you've done all these things you want to confirm your, you, have, you want to confirm your diagnosis go over here and click that uh, flashlight not flashlight lamp and click here 
so you'll get the diagnosis so subacute angle closer or narrow angle glaucoma if you're right well done should have taken about 31 minutes with this patient so we took around 31 minutes so which is good um so yeah that's how you do it and this is a very fun exercise for you to kind of um, utilize your knowledge of your diagnosing skills and stuff uh, even though there are like just 12 patients i think it's going to be a fun if you're the if you're looking visiting this page for the first time actually in my undergrad years i used to do all this um this kind of uh, exciting stuff uh, while i was in the library and stuff so good luck and have fun with this website uh, i hope you will enjoy it and i will share some other cool stuff um, with time so keep tuned on my video channels thanks guys cheers